Alrighty, hello guys, so can be faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the aircraft carrier. As you guys can see in the previous video, we actually ended up adding some casemates to the side of the uh, the hull, uh, which allow us to actually shoot some big, I guess some quite big cannons uh, towards the enemy, just in case any ships get a little bit too close. Um, they're not really that easy to aim or anything like that, but they are still pretty cool, so um, I like it. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to take something like this on the front uh, and we're actually going to go ahead and put it on the rear so that we have some sort of air defense on the back as well as the front. And then eventually we're actually going to go ahead and put some air defenses around the side as well, hopefully allowing us to actually defend ourselves from the enemy. But um, yeah, I think that's a pretty cool idea. So let's get working on the rear of the ship. Alright, so I was just looking at how much space we've actually got back here. Uh, essentially, all we can actually build is one further back, and obviously that is not going to be enough. So, I figured we'd actually go ahead and try and build something uh, just off the side of the runway down here somewhere. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I want to do that just yet, so we'll wait a minute. But uh, what I figured we'd also do is do this on both sides. We'll actually add some sort of um, strengthening stuff to the outside of this. Uh, because honestly, I think it's going to work out quite nicely, uh, and I think it's going to look quite good. So we're going to go ahead and send this in like that, and yeah, we're going to do a bunch of these, and hopefully it'll make it look quite nice. Okay, so there's one. We're also going to do the exact same thing right here as well. However, I don't know how far out it actually is. So let's do this idea. Here we go. So we go from there all the way across to wherever the middle of this one is going to be, which is about there. We then delete all of these pieces in the center. And we put this back. Here we go. So we attach this guy to there, just like so. Delete one, two, three, and four. And then whack this guy right onto there, just like so. So, um, yeah, it gives a little bit of a uh, strengthening look to it. We're going to have to add more of those, but uh, I'm not sure how many, to be honest. So we might leave a gap of about five. That's four. That's five. Good. We'll do the same thing back here. So leave a gap of about five. One, two, three. Uh, sorry, three, four, five. Uh, like that. Is that five? Yeah, that's good. So we'll leave that like that. And then actually, we need to figure where the middle of this is. Uh, 15. 47, 8. It's 8. So wherever 8 is, there. Then we delete these pieces in the middle. And we'll strengthen all of this bit and hopefully it'll look okay. I think it will. So we send this pretty much all the way across to the middle, actually. There we go. We'll then send it back. There we go. All the way to there. And we'll attach one of these pieces directly under here. So I'm going to do that for the last two. And then I'll come back and uh, be with you in a second. Alright, yeah. So I do think that makes uh, that makes sense. I think it looks a little bit nicer with those. So we will be keeping those. Uh, with that being said, we need to come up with an idea of how to actually add an anti-aircraft gun uh, underneath the side of this. Because it's going to have to poke out the side rather than be on the end. Uh, because obviously we can't build off the end. So yeah, we're going to have to come up with some idea here. But I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this, to be honest. Actually, side note, I have an idea. We're going to go ahead and delete this uh, right there, like so. We're going to add a ladder to this bit. Here we go. Delete this. And add a ladder from there downwards. Here we go. So we're going to go down oh, a good chunk. I don't know how many, though. But, like, let's say one. Uh, yeah, let's say that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven. Or maybe just six. Should we go with six? Seven. Let's go with seven. Right, so delete this one. Delete this one. Delete that one. Delete that one. Nope. Delete the bottom one. And we should be able to attach all of that together. Um, yeah. All right, that's a good idea. So delete this. Put that in there. Put that in there. And then get some pipes. We'll attach all of those together. And this will be kind of interesting to see uh, what this looks like in the end. So do this all the way up to the top one. Do this all the way down to there. And that's how you get to the gun. Kind of interesting. I think that's that's not a bad idea. We'll also actually barrier this off so it looks like we should have to go in there. And honestly, I think that's a pretty cool idea. I like it. Nice. Uh, so yeah, once you are actually down here, obviously we need to build a little platform uh, so that it looks normal. So bring this this way. Attach that onto there as well. Yep. Attach this onto there also. Yes. And then we need to somehow connect the platform to this. I don't know how this is supposed to look, to be honest, but let's do it. So, 
This goes down onto there, just like so. One, two, three. Excellent. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I actually missed. All right, put that there. One, two, and three. Excellent. And then we need to build a bit of a platform out to the side. Oh, this is a bit ridiculous. I don't know how I'm supposed to make this look, but it's supposed to look good. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but let's try it. So let's do this. Then one of those like that. We'll do one of those like this. And I think we'll actually just attach this up to there, to be honest. So delete this and this. And we'll actually just have a wall in there instead. Maybe that's a better idea anyway. So we'll do this down to there. We'll attach these guys onto here like this. That's good. And I think that's fine. Yeah, it somewhat fits together, so I think that's okay. We're then going to build the platform in there. We're going to build this platform in like this. And then this bit on this side, just like that. There we go. So the gun itself is going to be mounted somewhere down here. And I think that'll be fine. Also, delete all of this. It's unnecessary when we've got this bit. So do that. All the way up to there. All the way across to there. Excellent. Delete all of this. Yep. And put all of this on there. Woo! Nice. All right. Yeah, that's sick. That's kind of cool. Uh, with that being said, we should also do something from back here too. So let's do this down, hopefully, straight onto there. Excellent. And I'd say that's pretty cool too. Yeah, delete that. Put this little bit in right there. This is a cool little platform. I like it. All right, so I do think these are actually kind of ugly, and I do think we should change them. So how about we go to the back, and we try and come up with a different design that hopefully looks a little bit nicer. That is that is the idea. Whether it'll actually work or not, I'm not so sure, but we'll try it. So go all the way to the back. Here we go. And we need to come up with a design that works and also looks nice. So delete three right there. Get ourselves a pivot, obviously. We'll go ahead and put this in straight away like this. There we go. Excellent. Uh, and then we need to build it in from there. So we'll only do it on one side. Then we'll copy and paste it up to there. And that should be good. So, yes. We've got this. That seems fine. We're going to raise it up by, like, one. We're then going to get ourselves a another pivot, like this one. And we're going to put that right about there. Okay, excellent. That makes sense, I think. So then we come around, obviously, and we want to attach it onto this side also. There we go. Okay, good. Then we want some auto cannons because that's how we're going to use it again. So auto cannon right there. Auto cannon right... Oh, we can't do it that way around. So it does actually have to go inwards, which is slightly annoying, but there you go. And then realistically, I wouldn't mind actually adding some extra ones underneath or maybe even on top. Maybe, maybe you could actually do this. Oh, no, but they look weird too. I want them to be wider than they are tall, if that makes sense. So realistically... In order to do that, we'd actually have to attach these on, either facing downwards, like this. Yeah, okay. If we have them all facing downwards, then obviously the ammo will go to the side. That seems to make some sense. Yep, good. Then we'll have to build in something in the middle that looks good. Don't know what that'll look like, though, to be honest. But here we go, bring this this way. And then do this from here, upwards. So just like that, good. Delete that. Whack it onto there so it looks nice. In fact, do it sideways like this. And also like that. Good. And then I think we can add a hood to the front of that. Like so. There we go. So we know where we're shooting at. I think that makes sense. And I think that's all good, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, but then we need to actually ammo this thing up. And it's impossible with this in the way. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's so annoying. So we're going to have to drag this bit backwards, cut it, move it backwards one, paste it back in. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. This bit and this bit also have to get out of the way in order to add the other bits. All right, auto cannon, let's go. So how are we going to do this? This belt needs to go that way. Okay. Uh, this belt obviously then needs to go the other way. Then we need to attach a T-junction to that if we can. Here we go, like so and like so. And then we need to actually add some some of these. Which is ridiculous, because they just look too big, don't they? They look far too big. If I put them on the side, maybe that'll be better. So that goes, like, there. And also there. <laughs> I think that looks crazy, to be honest. I think that looks insane, but we'll go with it for now. Alright, here we go. Attach that onto there. Attach this onto here. And the insane thing is, it has been built. The insane thing has been built. What do we think? <laughs> that looks ridiculous. 
It honestly looks scary. Okay, but I also want, like, all of this to actually be a different color. I should have built it in the different color to begin with, but never mind. So we're going to paint all of this in, just like so. There we go. All of it, please. Including the rear. Let's build that in there. Good. Uh, most of this is already actually painted, so that's fine. But um, I think that actually looks okay, yeah. We've probably painted it enough. All right, paint these guys. There we go. And this guy. And this guy. And there we go. So we've added some beastie uh, guns back here. I think that's fine. Let's merge this up with this. Uh, we need to actually merge that with that somehow. So paste that there. Merge this together with this. And then we need to add other bits. We need to actually add other bits. It's a bit ridiculous. A bit ridiculous. But anyway, put that there. Put this here. Paint that a little bit right there as well. And then I think we can actually add this piece, just like so. Do that up there, and then do this right here. Get ourselves a handle, and this is how we're going to shoot it. Yes. Okay. That seems a little bit insane, but um, I guess it'll do some damage. So I'm happy with that, I think. <laughs> All right. Okay. Awesome. So now that we've got that in, let's go ahead and paint around the outside. Here we go. So paint this like so all the way around to there. We'll also do it around here as well. And we'll go to the back and paint this little bit in too. There we go. Excellent. I think that's all good. We're then actually going to jug the floor in. Uh, this color instead. Uh, what color? Like this? Instead, which is pretty nice. We're then going to paint this as well. So paint that little bit right there. Excellent. I think that's all good. I think that'll be fine. Might be a little bit heavy, but we're going to go with it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put high explosive. Actually, it should be fragmentation. Fragmentation rounds in these. For the light auto cannons, we need a blinker of sorts. Yeah, an actual blinker. Uh, and that will probably go in here. There. Just like that. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way of it, but it might. So this actually has to go to the junction. There, and also to there. Uh, to be able to feed the actual thing, if that makes sense. So I don't know what the timing between shots is, but we're going to go with 0.3 and 0.3, and hopefully that will be fine. Maybe. I genuinely don't know. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, go ahead and attach the space bar to the guns. There we go. Make sure that this uh, WNS actually does this one. Make sure that A and D does this one. And we're going to have to spawn it in and see if it works. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, so I haven't actually asked you guys any questions in the past few videos, so I was thinking, what is your favourite kind of warship? So that could be like a destroyer, a battleship, an aircraft carrier, it could actually be, uh, or, or other. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, because um, that'll be interesting. Also, I have actually managed to aim this thing down, but aiming it up is seemingly a massive pain in the butt. Yeah, aiming it down goes really quick. Aiming it upwards is very, very difficult. Kind of interesting. But anyway, we should be able to turn it left and right. It all needs inverting. And then we light up everything. Why is there only one side working? Why is there only one side working? That makes no sense. I'm confused. Alright, okay, so let's uh, let's try and figure this out. So when we press spacebar, we want that to actually trigger this, and then we want that to trigger both of those. That makes sense. However, this side should be shooting, and it isn't, and I'm not sure why. Why wouldn't this side be shooting? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? Because it, it, it's built exactly the same way, so why isn't it shooting? That makes literally no sense uh, at all. That's pretty weird. That is very, very weird. But anyway, electrical input to there. Electrical input to both of these guys. And to there as well. Excellent. Um, I don't think I've got infinite electricity on, so I don't know how they're actually working currently, but there you go. Speed of this is going to go up quite a bit. But we're also going to try and invert both of these. So grab this. Cut it. Press U. Paste it back in. Merge it back in. So merge this with this. Merge that with that. Excellent. We're then going to have to do this piece. So cut this, press I, question mark? Yeah, I think it's I, there we go, paste it back in, merge this with this, and merge this with this, excellent. Uh, and that should be fine, I think. We're also going to go ahead and paint this piece this color, and that is A-OK. -okay. Right, now, we need to see if this works. Alright, so now we're down to gear, let's see if it actually shoots. So it aims up, it aims down, 
Excellent, that works nicely. And then we aim to the left and the right, and that's good. Yes, all right, press space bar. All right, it's not shooting particularly smoothly, but honestly, that is okay. We need to change the blinker to be working within the, the right times uh, for this to work properly. However, this does work, uh, and we should be able to take out enemy air targets that come for us. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, good. All right, so with that being said then, we actually need some extra ammunition, uh, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and pile up some of it, uh, probably right here. So we'll actually do one, two, and three. I don't think I can fit four, so we'll do it just like that. That's fine. Uh, we'll actually paint all of those in this color. That's fine as well. Yeah, that makes sense. And honestly, we'll just fill all of these in. So we need light auto cannon. We're going to go with uh, fragmentation. We're going to go with fragmentation. And we're going to go with fragmentation. And honestly, I think that's fine. We're then going to attach all of this up to the roof um, a little bit like this. There we go. Excellent. So it is somewhat attached to the ceiling. That's okay. We then need to add some railings because I want to. So there you go. So let's do segment end. We're going to go with obviously this color. Let's put it right there on the edge. There we go. Excellent. Uh, we'll do it all the way to about this point right here. There we go. So they do attach together. It's just they're not like completely in the way of each other. So that makes sense. There we go. Uh, and I think I'm happy with that being just like that. So we'll leave it. Good. We'll also actually add this piece in here. And I think that's fine too. So, now that we've got all of that actually in, we're going to go ahead and grab this piece. Uh, grab all of this. There we go, including all of the gun. All the way down to the interior of this bit. All the way up to there. Alright, good. And all the way backwards to actually about here. So that we can copy and paste this, move it over, and it should be fine. So grab all of that. Everything seems to have been grabbed there, so copy it. Oh no, actually, hang on. There, that is not everything. There we go. Now that's everything, I think. So we copy it. We move it over to the other side. Oh, this isn't quite right, is it? This isn't quite right. Because it's all going to need inverting when I press U. Yeah, it is. It's all going to be the wrong way around. Oh, actually, no. The bottom thing's just going to be the wrong way around. Everything else is going to be fine. Anyway, merge that with that. There we go. Um, da -da 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 -da. Filled in bit on the left. Yeah, we need, to, we need to swap that around. But then once we've swapped that around, everything should be fine. So grab this. Cut it. Press U. Paste it in. There we go. Merge this with this. Good. Merge that with that. And there we go. So we've got anti-aircraft guns uh, that should actually work all by themselves. I'm happy with that. I think that's fine. So that's our defense for our rear. It's not an awfully big defense, but we got something going on there. Uh, and then we actually want to do something with this that drags it all the way around to here uh, as well. I don't know how I'm supposed to attach all of that on, but we do want to do something with it. So if I can open up this piece and we can attach that to there. Maybe a little bit of a walkway would actually be pretty sick to begin with. So we'll actually do something like this. Yeah. I want to be doing this on both sides, though. So undo all of that. Undo all of it, please. All right. One more. There we go. And another one. Okay. So delete. Three. Four. There we go. So now attach this under here. Bring it all the way backwards to at least... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> at least... There. There we go. Excellent. And then we should be able to attach that to there, but we can't really do it, unfortunately. So never mind. But we have now got a little bit of a thing going on here. We'll actually drag this all the way here too. And then we need to figure out what to do with this bit, but we'll do that in another video. So for now, we might actually just attach this piece directly under there, like so, and send it across here like so. Excellent. We'll then delete this as we go backwards to here, and we'll put this little bit in. And we'll put that all the way down to here as well. Okay, yeah. So we're actually extending uh, the rear bit on the side backwards quite a bit. That works, yeah. And then I think in order to actually put guns on the side, we'll actually jut out of here a little bit, uh, add openings, and then we'll add guns uh, that should take out aerial targets. But that'll be in the future. So for now, we've built this onto the back. Uh, and that's it. That's all we're going to do today. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Sorry, just before we actually fully finish, uh, I figured that we'd actually show this thing on the other side actually working. So we can turn it even when it is aiming upwards just about past that, which is awesome. Uh, and we can actually turn it quite far around, which is nice too. 
In fact, we can actually turn it all the way around, pretty much. Except when we get to this side, we can't go any further. But I think that's okay. I think that makes sense. I think the fact that my person is actually moving like this is a bad idea, but whatever. It's fine. Anyway, uh, we can shoot them. And that's pretty sick, to be honest. So, there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Yeah.